Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out touring some of the homes that will be included in our next online auction. Today I'm in Adairsville, Georgia. This property is located at 154 Honeysuckle Drive Southwest. Pretty nice little house. I know usually I'll show you the front when the video starts, but we're having a shower, so I'm just standing here under the carport and trying to be productive. Listen, this is a three bedroom, one and a half bath, has a large open family room. Needs a little repair work on the outside. Some sheet rocks off the ceiling on the inside, not sure why. Uh, but we'll look at it and you can decide what you think. Um, we'll head on inside and look around and hopefully by then uh, the shower will let up and we can walk around the outside real quick and take a look at it. All right, let's uh, go inside the front door and see what we see. All right, I'm inside uh, 154 Honeysuckle. And I'm just looking uh, around. I, first thing I see is this is a big open space. Uh, family room, kitchen kind of open together. There's a fireplace. Looks like they may have had a wood stove there at one time. And on the ceiling, I'm not really sure what's going on here. They, Somebody has torn some sheet rock some of the sheetrock down and looks like it's been picked up but there's insulation in the floor i don't think it's from i don't think it's wet it's raining outside now and i don't see any water dripping on it um, but you come out here and look at it yourself be your own judge in this room probably just some carpet pull that wallpaper down uh, a little paint. I want to show you this open kitchen area. They have some nice cabinetry. Uh, stainless steel sink. Appliances, you know, if they work fine. If they don't, the ceiling looks okay in that area. And has a pretty decent tile floor. So that looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go to my right. Uh, as we go down the hall just real quick, it's not really a hall, it's still open. I'm probably standing where you'd put a dining table uh, for the kitchen. This little laundry room has pretty decent tile in it. Uh, it's got a lot of space in it. When we get back to the back of the house, I'm gonna give you a little idea about it. And also the sheetrock's down in here. But surprisingly, uh, with this sheetrock being down, all the wiring appears to be intact. I've looked it up in the ceiling. As we go by, I'll show you that. You know, I try to think of these things as I'm looking, but uh, the video is just for informational purposes to give you an idea of what you're going to see when you get out here on inspection day. All right, I'm looking down the hallway. Remember this house has uh, one and a half baths, three bedrooms. So that's where we're headed. They like wallpaper. Maybe you'll like wallpaper. Right, this is our uh, bath. It does have ceramic tile on the walls. Those uh, sliding doors kind of date it. Uh, ceiling looks okay in here and it has a tile floor maybe the same that's in the kitchen um, that's a pretty nice little uh, vanity cabinet there so you can see it all right we'll head on down to another bedroom this uh, area back in here the bedrooms is carpeted they probably need some new carpet this is just a quick view of the bedroom ceilings okay there's a fixture you might can salvage and use and let's go down a little bit you can see this carpet is not salvageable. Alright, this is um, 
a bath. Now here's something I want to say about this. If you remember the laundry room, it was a pretty good size. Right in that closet is the water heater for the house. I'm not so sure that you couldn't, uh, you might have to put in a drain of some type, but why couldn't you move that water heater to the laundry room? And there's a slack place on the ceiling. Move it um, to the laundry room and make a shower in here. Uh, that's an upgrade that probably give you some value. That's not up to me. I just a suggestion. Every time I look at one, I always think about two baths. This one's one and a half. All right, here's the other bedroom. Looks pretty nice. You know, this house is not beat up. Walls aren't beat up. See just a slight stain over there. And I think if you'll notice the gutter was off the house uh, or you'll see it. Might have been backed up and caused that. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad and it doesn't look recent. But nice closet in here. I'm not. They put in some wood shelving. Again, that carpet has to go. I don't think anybody would use it. All right. This bedroom. Uh, the door's got a couple of places in it. Might need repair. But, you know, the house is not torn up or punched holes in the wall or anything it looks pretty good ceiling looks all right in here and again that pink carpet you'll probably want to replace but you know just paint carpet in here and fix it where the sheetrock's damaged but make sure it's not leaking so You don't replace it and have to replace it again. All right, why don't we head outside? Maybe it's quit raining. We'll take a look outside. All right, I think the rain's let up enough. We can look at the house real quick. This is the front door. You're gonna need some fascia board to put that uh, gutter back on. We may go out and get a street view, but this is your carport. And there's some limbs in the front yard from a tree. There's a street, but this is a real quiet neighborhood. I've been out here just a little while. Here's some of your neighboring homes. Y'all know that famous car, uh, real quiet. Looks like we're kind of in a little valley. We'll go from there. We'll go all the way around the house. I need to take these limbs off. The, off. Notice it's vinyl trimmed which is nice, just needs cleaning. And the backyard is fenced somewhere over in there. Need a little trimming, I think. There's some limbs in the backyard too, but I believe the fence goes all the way around. It's kind of thick in there. Probably. Trying to figure out why that sheet rocks off the house. The roof looks a little wrinkled, but surely that's not leaking. You know, it stormed yesterday and it's raining now, but not raining that hard. It's possible in the bathroom, that little small place we saw on the ceiling there, could be from that vent. You come out and look it over and see what you think about it. The AC unit's there. I have no idea if it works. We do not have any power, but I know the, the gutters on the back of the house probably might as well replace them all at one time. But it is a brick home and it's a little bit grown up and yes now i think just trim back some limbs and you'll be fine i can see the fence so the backyard is fenced except for one place and we're going to go through it now and it looks like it was there at one time but just to give you a good idea of this backyard all right this is uh you can see the post it could have been fenced could have been a gate I'm not sure, but this is one little space here, a gap, maybe 10 to 12 feet. There's a fence that's laying under that pile of debris there for some reason. I don't know why that debris is there. But this end of the house looks pretty good too. And here we are back at the front. Now that uh, 
that fascia board's bad. It's going to have to be re replaced. A little bit of trim. That's the only place that the vinyl and the metal is off of it. All right, I think we'll wrap this up and let's go look at another house. Still a little shower going on, but we've taken our tour anyway, and uh, I'm gonna move on to the next property. Before I do, I wanna remind you, this is an online only auction. Nobody will be here at the uh, premises to take your bid. Pretty nice house, it's brick, three bedroom, one and a half bath, nice uh, open floor plan. House is not beat up, just some repair, and which most of them do. And, when you do a little rehab, maybe an upgrade to that bath if you find it possible and feasible. Might make a little extra money on this house or make it uh, more fitting for you if you're going to live here. All right, before I go uh, to the next property, I want to remind you, read your contract package before you bid. There's a lot of information in there, answers a lot of questions. If people call me on the phone, I can tell they hadn't read it because all the answers are pretty well there. We don't uh, write it real complicated language or anything. But know what you're doing before you bid. Know how much the down payment, how much you're gonna need to bid uh, at the, uh, well, how much you're gonna need for the down payment in, uh, or deposit, and then you close in 30 days with cash, not contingent on a loan. Also, if you're a first time bidder, I recommend you bid early in the process while the prices are low. You wait till the last minute, sometimes your bidder number will not work, and there you are. You can't get it working, you're calling us, our lines are busy, nobody to help you, nobody to solve your problem, you miss out on the house that you want. So bid early in the process and make sure your bidder number works. All right, I'm Terry again. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Hope to encourage you to come out and look at the property. If you have questions at any time after you've read the package, give us a call. Our number's at the bottom of the screen or send us an email, info at terryhow.com. We're there to help you and we're glad to help you. One last time, online only, terryhow.com. We'll see you there. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you buy the house.